I think it's a good opportunity for me to really poke fun at the image that I've kind of created of myself or that people have created. So that's what made my, my career is my hair. You caught on fire? Yes. How, what happened? I was just singed. <laughs> Why did you singe? Why did you get singed? Yep. Rub the money makers. No. <laughs> Your money makers caught fire? <laughs> and so ours is just in drugstores. Affordable. Really cheap. Affordable. That's great. They, it always makes me feel a bit grubby. Yeah, you know? it's just, it's not a good idea. Um, Which is not necessarily a bad thing. Unfortunately. You know? Well, yeah. Sometimes, you know. A little dirty's not bad. <laughs> Having fun. Yeah. Being naked, rescuing animals, doing that. Yeah. Now, that you're, one of nice. the, you're one of the few people I know who actually rescues animals naked, which is... <laughs> so, so the show is mostly you doing construction work? Yes. <laughs> naked. <It's> like... <laughs> naked. I find it interesting, you know, your mom now has two kids, mm -hmm. and uh, you've got a very, very nice image, and, and now, now that you've... Uh, I do? Well, no, things are, okay. are, are different for you now. <laughs> what did they say? Just put on, like, this uh, red swimsuit and jump on the trampoline? No. <laughs> I did have to have a swim test, and I floated. This is an E. I have to keep her clothes on. Sorry, I'm sorry. That's okay. Just don't look down. I'm not worried about me. I'm worried about the, the people there. The... All right. Hi, Pam. No mystery here. How? <laughs> In an insurance office, and I dress provocatively. Terrible. Mm -hmm. You have had sort of an up and down life, haven't you, on the men? Front? In the men. Yeah, yeah. I like it like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was really hard to have sex with short hair. I would think it'd be easier because nothing gets in the way. If I you like know what things I mean. getting in the way. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, you look very pretty. Thank you for oh, doing the whole, whole know, Christmas thing. You can't talk me out of a good time. That's right. Exactly. Exactly. Now you you brought gifts. I understand. I did. Right? I brought you... gifts. Okay. Let's see what. Should we start with you? All right. You have naughty or for... nice? You've been naughty, but I'll give you something right. anyway. Okay. That's part of my charm. This is sexy. <laughs> I need some more men holding me down. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I fit in with all these loose women. You do. About the uh, the new show. This this sure. is yeah. Pa Pam, girl on the loose. Capital loose. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It could be quite yeah. dangerous letting video cameras all around your house, couldn't it? Well, you think I learned my lesson? You think? <laughs> <laughs> I have to set the record straight, though. Uh, for the record, I do have a tight pussy. Right, Tommy? Do you? Embrace the fact that you're remembered so much for, for Baywatch, because there are some people who are part of an iconic television program and they get all a bit above themselves and they don't want to talk about it anymore. Oh, I could be remembered for worse. <laughs> so I actually, I love when everyone brings up Baywatch. I'm like, yes, that's me. Just taking a bath. In a bubble bath, bath just like mommy. Yeah. Take a picture of him in the bathtub. Well, you know, it's runs in the family. Yeah. <laughs> Topical barometer. I should have sat on that. Call it Tommy. I took a lot, a lot of years to learn how to run in slow motion. What about dancing in slow motion? I want to learn everything I can. I mean, dancing is really great. I like to use my body. Mm hmm I know, I've heard. Um, <laughs> you know, I love doing, you know, Playboy. I love you know, performing at Crazy Horrors. I like performing, you know, I'm not a singer or a dancer, so this is that's all it. I got. <laughs> what would you have done? Uh, big boobs. Oh, you're talking to an expert. They're funny at parties. They're funny at parties. Because <laughs> you got edited out. Again, I mean, I should not ever be on TV before 8 o'clock. Think of that, Fox. There must be guys in your life that you, friends that you go out to dinner with and, and stuff well, like I'm that. I'm having sex. Is that what you wanted to ask? Are you having sex? <laughs> Thank you. Pammy, last year you did something completely different. You became a magician's assistant in Las Vegas. It was so much fun. With uh, an illusionist by the name of Hans Clock. We can see you together now. I did it for the name. Do you love clock? I love clock. <laughs> Do you, are you still into the magic? Are you still, um, you know? Well, I love it. I mean, it's, it was a lot of fun. You know, fantasy, you can cross it off the list. I have a lot of those. I've done a lot of those, too. Right. <laughs> when do you think is the cutoff point, well, for you to still do, like, the men's shoot? Like, you was the last one to do Playboy. Oh, I'm still up to naughty things. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, how would you, uh, how would you describe the, uh, the novel? Yeah, the yeah. novel? Well, small town girl. Small you know, town girl. comes to L.A. Yeah. And, um, 
Make your way to the top. Oh. Oh. We're all babies in love. I don't know. It's just, who knows what, I don't know, maybe I don't even know what it is. But anyway, I wrote a book about it. Before, before. <laughs> you know, you've been in this business. People don't last long in this business unless they're smart. And you're a smart person, so you know oh, what thanks, you're doing. Jay. Now, how about your folks? He wanted me to play this Bond kind of character. And I said, no, I'd rather play more of, like, someone who really doesn't know what they're doing, but always thrown in the middle of everything, because that's kind of how I am anyway. So that was kind of easy yeah. for me. <laughs> and you ever get taken as a blonde bimbo? All the time. That because then there's nothing nothing to live up to. If you form a full sentence, you're a genius. You decided that maybe you had a, a novel to write. Well, Simon Schuster came to me to write an autobiography, and I thought that was kind of boring. Mm -hmm. And I thought something fiction, and they said, well, how about a Ramona Clay? And I said, who's that? Yeah, that's you. That's it was inspired by my life. Inspired, inspired by your life. Okay. It's a Ramona Clay, okay. whoever that is. Yeah. All right, now you... I mean, it was, uh, the Playboy Mansion was like my university. Yeah. It was full of intellectuals. I got, you know, <laughs> sex, rock and roll, all kind of art, mess. all the important stuff. <laughs> oh, so. <laughs> right, see, that would make oh, you a great. I know that one. You know okay. that one, okay. The, uh, a yucko? No, I have no idea. Shoot, how come you didn't tell me these earlier? You gave me the other ones. No, no, this is what you say. <laughs> I gave you the easy one. Let me ask you about your kids. Are they excited about Christmas? I know they're seven and uh, six, right? Well, I'm going to wear this for the rest of the holidays. Really? That works? Yeah. <laughs> no, my kids are so excited about the yeah. holidays. You think yeah. they're seven and, and nine? Seven and nine. I'm seven sorry. Seven and okay. nine. So, it's the other way. So nine. Nine. Oh, seven and nine. You're right. It's upside down. <laughs> what is the writing process for you? You get up every morning and you begin in an early part of the day, or how does it work? I have a ghostwriter. <laughs> Oh, they told you what the trial was and everything? No, no. I mean, oh, I, don't, I don't really know. I still don't know. I have to call in tonight. But I don't think I'd be a very good juror, you know, if you're not vegetarian. Guilty. Really? <laughs> yeah. Is this my shirt see-through? Darn it. Oh, oh, damn! <laughs> not again. Underdressed again. Okay, if I just do this, okay, no one will tell. Is it it's, tough for you to, to look good and, and have that fun time at this age? How tough is it? <laughs> Please, um, oh, it's so hard. Tell about the movie, the superhero um, movie. Yeah, what well, it wasn't. I wish I could do a series as Invisible Girl. <laughs> yeah, because you don't have to be there. To yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tell your mom. Talk to your mom about it. She'll know what to do. <laughs> That's what I always did when I shoplifted. Oh, really? Did you shoplift? <laughs> did, 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 yeah. Now, there's all this talk about uh, sex and violence on TV. Your mother. Is there anything you don't let your kids watch that, that you're going to shield them from? The Chris Rock show. Oh. I think we have to wait for that. <laughs> Donnie has never given his wife oral sex. No. And he has never received oral sex from his wife, nor will he ask her for it because he doesn't want to embarrass her. That's not true. Swear no. to no. God. No. What do you mean that's not true? It is because so that's true. Impossible. No, <laughs> it's impossible. No, it's not. Because if that happens to you, if you go out with a guy that cheats on you, what? You, if he cheats on you, oh. you go. I know. It, it happens to other women. I'm yeah. <laughs> no. well, I'm single. I sh you know, when you gave me your number, I should have called you. Yeah, you should have. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> you should have called I know, me. I know, I know. Well, then I went to Vegas and you're sober. That wouldn't have worked. <laughs> you could have given it a chance. So is it true that one of them was conceived at the Playboy Mansion? I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> so, you're a working mom? You're a working mom. Don't, yeah. you, don't I look like one? Yeah, you're... <laughs> They're good-looking good guys, but yeah. they're, they're good, right? They're, they're great they're, kids. Yeah. I'm really fortunate because it could have been a disaster. <laughs> it could have been. Yeah. Yes. I mean, they're genetically loaded. <laughs> and, <laughs> and are they more surfer. like are you or are they more like Tommy? What, who do they take out of, uh, after? They're like me. Yeah? Yes. Which means what? They're good. <laughs> I, don't know, the, I don't know about the, um, the shining examples I've given them. For men. Of your love it was so affectionate. Now you divorced Tommy Lee yeah. and then you married him again. I you do that. You do that a lot. Well, I'm living there. He's on tour. We get along better that way. I see. What advice could you give to the newlyweds? Huh. Congratulations, first of all, on your marriage. Thank you very much. I hope it works. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah. Yeah. Lost another soldier. Uh -huh. I mean, uh, will you get married stuff. again? Do you think you'll get married again? Probably. Probably get married Gosh. again? <laughs> Odds are. Yeah. What he's talking about. I don't know what he's talking he's about. Crazy. Exactly. He's totally yeah. crazy. Uh, all sorts of things like that. It was just high drama at all times. I don't, can't imagine that.
<laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Things yeah. change. Things yeah. change. I know. Um, like last time you were here, you were, oh, I don't think I'll get married. Whatever. But I, I'm still disengaged. Okay, you're just disengaged. So, <laughs> so how did it? Gotta keep him on his toes. I mean, was it? Yet. You, no, I. There's been so uh, much windiness in there. I thought it was a bit like rock and roll. It was very rock and roll. It is rock very and roll. Yeah. Well, the magicians are the new rock stars. Apparently. <laughs> Go to a nice restaurant. And no. Oh, what, so what happened? Um, well, he wanted me to come to Las Vegas, which I can't stay in Las Vegas. I said something horrible is going to happen if I go to Las Vegas. Oh. Anyway, I went there and he asked me to marry him. As you said, we're pretty rough. You had a health scare, a couple of marriages, you had an annulment, a divorce. Yeah, the marriages were the health scare. Yeah. <laughs> Of course. Oh, okay. So right. you guys friends again? We're always been friends. Always been friends, okay. Yeah. yeah it is. It's a big time for me. I have so much to promote and so much good things going on. That's what you do after divorce. You do things. Yeah. You do stuff. Well, all your dreams come true. Now, okay. is this the third margarita? How many of you have? You feed me two. Two margaritas. One well, each. Well, that's good. Yeah, that's what that's it. Uh, Baywatch uh, Pam battling huge heroin addiction. Now, yeah. uh, very good. Okay, okay. Dear uh, Pamela, how can we bring Madonna back from the dead? Camille <laughs> Paglia. Oh, no. She kind of feels like uh, she's she's falling off a little bit. What do you think? Um, I don't know. How about... <laughs> well, heroin worked for me, so... Hey! <laughs> There's tons of explosions and bombs going off, and mm -hmm. I'm just kind of dodging them. Kind of like in real life, you know? <laughs> I was attacked by leeches. You are not. Yeah, look at my arm. Oh, my Lord, look at that. Well, I think they're leeches. I lied about it so much my whole life, I, I forget. Wait, uh, <laughs> I'm building a development there on, on Vancouver Island as well. Really? Yes. You must have tons of cash. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't have a lot of cash. Wait, you live in Malibu, you have, you have your own leeches, you have... Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, because of the leeches, I don't have a lot of cash. Right, okay. Yeah. No. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, can I help or what, what I got do you want me to do worry anything? about it? I got, I'm used to manual labor. Okay. No. Well, I am glad that you, um, I'm glad that they're doing the remake of Baywatch. I have a suggestion <laughs> for if you want to be in it. Money. <laughs> I can vote, first time. Yeah. Obama. Sorry. <laughs> Pamela, you look sensational. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Question that didn't work. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> Are there a lot of I'm guys that can wear speedos? You know a lot of wear speedos. Yeah. You know, I think Drake Bell's the male Hannah Montana, so I'm sure this is going to be a huge success, <laughs> right? <laughs> Isn't he? Doesn't he have a band? Exploit me, use me, thrash me, trash me. Thanks, sis. I just don't care. <laughs> I don't believe this. I'm out here putting my life on the line, and you're watching me on cable instead of direct TV. Now, what was that expression? Can you make that? Oh, what is it? I didn't quite get the. That's just emotion. I'm an actress. You're an actress, huh? Yes. Right. I've always been. Would you want to be a serious, a serious actress? I am a serious actress. <laughs> no, I mean, you know, like the classics. Would you like? Yeah. yeah. But see, I thought you retired from acting. Maybe you said I'm retired. I never from started acting. acting. How could I ever retire? <laughs> well, I guess it's true. That's okay. I'm 36. We're not going for cuteness anymore. You're not? <laughs> what are you going for? Naturalness, maybe. No. no. God, no. no. That's boring. Um. <laughs> what is the biggest misconception that we have on you, you think? <laughs> there's probably so many. I don't know. Or maybe there's none. Everyone knows everything about me, and it's all true. It's all true. <laughs> no, I don't know. I, I mean, I'm sure there's many. I just... You know, I just can only do what I do. I don't know what people think. I mean, if people think I'm, you know, not very bright and, and all sorts of things. I mean, who knows? Who knows? What I get do you... by okay, though. Trust me, I get by okay. What do you... I have to have a sense of humor about things, and, and I'm not scared to laugh at myself. And I just, it's funny. Have you always had kind of a self-deprecating sense of humor? Yeah, absolutely. Especially since I got here in Hollywood. And I realized, we're all it's all pretty funny. <laughs> it's all pretty silly. I don't think I have a lot to live up to at this point. <laughs>